launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draw. And the Bible says, and when they had this done, that they enclosed a great multitude of fish. My God, pull it in. Pull it in. Pull it in. I feel the Holy Ghost. Come on here, somebody. Shout, pull it in. Shout it again. Pull it in. You ain't getting off. My prayer worked. The devil tried to make you feel like you fish, your fishing was in vain. You ought to bait up the hook. You ought to cast it out. And like I said, you ought to use patience. But now you got him hooked. This thing is coming in tonight. Somebody pull. Your breakthrough is on the line tonight. I said your miracle is on the line tonight. Your supernatural turnaround is on the line tonight. Pull it in. Sandorabobosa. Pull it in. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. So the apostles say, Lord, teach us to pray. And let's jump in. The, let's jump down into verse 5 of Luke chapter 11. The Bible says, and he said unto them, which of you, this is my second point, how to get all you need from God. Who, who wants to know how to get all you need from God? Who wants to know the thing that you need to do that's going to help you get it all from God? That's going to get your prayer answered. That will help you not to be denied. Amen. Watch this. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine in his journey is come to me and I have nothing to set before him. And he from within so answer and say, Trouble me not. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. In other words, this is not the most convenient time for you to be banging on my door telling me you need something. Look, look at what Jesus said in verse 8. Verse 8 is the secret to what you need to do to get all from God. Verse 8, Jesus said, I say unto you, Though he will not rise and give it to him because he is his friend. He ain't going to give it to him because he is his friend. Yet because of his importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he need. He will rise up in the midnight and give him all that he need. The word importunity means to be persistent. The word importunity means to be determined. The word importunity means to be urgent. Who is it that I'm preaching to tonight? You've been urging God. Come on, open your mouth and urge him. Say, God, give me the miracle now. I got faith in my heart. The Bible says if you got faith, you won't be denied. The Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. But he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he rewards those who diligently seek him. You've been waiting a long time, but the wait is over. I said the wait is over. The fish is on the line. You got to pull him in tonight. Jesus said he would not rise and give him what he needs because he is his friend. Yet, because of his determination, because of his strong will, because of his refusal to be denied, Jesus said, man, that man whose door he's knocking on would rise up at midnight and give him all that he wanted. That man who is rising at midnight is the Lord your God. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open under their cry. You've been knocking for a long time and now God, God is arising, and as he is arising, your enemies shall be scattered. God, let God arise. Come on, somebody shout it. Let God arise, and let his enemies be scattered. God is getting up tonight. God is opening the doors of heaven, like Psalm 78 says. God is opening the windows of heaven, like Malachi chapter 3, and he is pouring out tonight a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive, and he is going to rebuke the enemy for your sake. The Bible, Jesus said, Jesus said, man, even though he is the man's friend, he wouldn't even pay no attention to him, but because of his persistence, because of him being insistent, 
persistent because of him being aggressive aggressive because he will knock and keep on knocking he is asking and keep on asking man he said the man will rise up at midnight and give him all that he want I'm preaching to somebody tonight who refused to be denied I'm preaching to someone tonight who refused to take no for an answer I'm preaching to someone tonight that's about to get the miracle I see the door is opening for you right now I see the windows of heaven is opening for you right now that's why Paul said in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 but my God but my God but my God but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus my God my God I feel it tonight Jesus said I say unto you though he will not rise and give him because he is his friend yet because this man is persistent Jesus said he will arise and give him as many as he need who is it that I'm preaching to tonight God is arisen God is arising in your situation God is arising in your problem. They told you no once. They told you no twice. But knock again. Glory to God. Knock again. Ask again. Seek again. I said ask again. Seek again. Knock again. You're too close to the miracle. I said you're too close. You're too close. His request was specific. He explained why he needed it. He kept on knocking and asking. And he got everything that he needed. I'm preaching to someone tonight. You getting a breakthrough right now. You getting a confirmation in your spirit. How do I know? How do I know? Pastor Sean, how do I know that God's about to give me a miracle? You have a knowing in your spirit that God's about to do it. You are determined to press through to victory. The inner voice of the Holy Ghost is telling you not to give up. You're about to get the miracle. God is using his servants to confirm to you that you are close to the miracle. Those closest to you can sense the miracle is about to happen in your life. Can somebody give God a praise? Can somebody magnify him? Can someone say, Lord, thank you for opening the doors of heaven tonight. Thank you, God, for showering down the manna from heaven. Thank you, God, for making a way out of no way. He led them through the wilderness. My God, he led them by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. I feel the Holy Ghost is leading someone tonight into your promised land. Glory to God, somebody give him praise. My God, my God. So Jesus takes it a step further. Jesus said, and I say unto you, man, you are at the right place tonight. Jesus said, and I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. Here comes the big one. For everyone that asks it, receive it. Everybody that's on this webinar, every, everyone on this webinar, what you've been praying about, you're about to receive it. Jesus say for everyone that asks it, receive it. He said everyone. He didn't qualify it. He didn't say you have to be a pastor. He didn't say you have to be an apostle. He didn't say you have to be a prophet, evangelist, or a teacher. He said for everyone. For everyone. That's the children of God that come to him in faith. He said everyone that ask it, receive it. You ought to lift your hands to heaven and begin to receive right now. I say you ought to lift your hands to heaven and receive right now. You ought to lift your hands to heaven and receive. He said for everyone that ask it, receive it. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be open. It's being open to you right now. Doors that were shut are opening right now. I said the no's, all of the no's that were told to you are turning into yeses. All of your denials that you've been getting is turning into approvals. Who is it that I'm preaching to tonight? Who is it that I'm preaching to tonight? How, how would you know if you're not qualified for the raise, if you don't ask for it? Glory to God. I dare you to ask for the raise. I dare you to go to your boss and say, Mr. Manager, out of all due respect, I believe I'm due a raise. How do you know? How, how do you know they wouldn't promote you if you don't exercise your faith and ask? How do you know that you would not qualify for that position if you never applied for it? How do you know? Glory to God, I'm preaching to somebody tonight. Try again, somebody. Knock and keep on knocking. Ask and keep on asking. Seek and keep on seeking. For everyone, for everyone that asks, receives. I dare you to open your mouth and ask God right now. You've been believing God for it. I dare you to release your faith 
and ask him for it right now. I dare you to open your mouth and say, God, this is exactly what I'm believing you to give me. A ridiculous miracle. A ridiculous miracle. On last night, we preached about the widow woman in Luke 18 who constantly went to this judge who didn't fear God nor regard man. Yet the judge said, because this widow woman, she troubleth me, lest by her continual coming, she wear me out. I'm going to give her everything. I'm going to avenge her of her adversary. And I'm telling you tonight, that's on this webinar. God is about to avenge you. The Bible says vengeance is mine. He will repay. God is about to avenge you of all the hell you went through, of all the rejection you went through, of all the denial that people did with you. They walked on top of you, but now God is about to avenge you. I say God is about to avenge you of your adversary, and your adversary is the devil. He goes about like a roaring lion, seeking those whom he may devour. But the Bible says resist him, steadfast in the faith. The Bible says resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come on, somebody. Let's join our faith together. Satan, we resist you in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We bind you in the name of Jesus. We break every plan of the enemy. We break every plan, every trap, every snare. We curse it right now. We undo it in the name of Jesus. Every trap from hell, we rebuke it. We command it to be null and void. The Bible says a Upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This is a night of victory. This is a night of breakthrough. This is a night of supernatural turnaround. What a mighty God we serve. I said, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Never give up. Never give up. That's the word for the hour. Never give up. When the enemy begins to tempt you to give up, that's because you are right on the doorstep of a miracle. You're right on the threshold of a breakthrough. You're right on the threshold of a supernatural turnaround. You're right there. You're right in the vicinity. You're right in a region. You're right on the block where a miracle is about to take place.